This is over-exaggerating the, the distinction between body and arms. So leave your back to the target, let your trail arm straighten, and you look in the mirror and you tell me, I guarantee that club's plenty from the inside. Well, I'm glad you're the one hitting the balls this early morning <laughs> and not me, not my old bones hitting Searing it. Searing through the fog there, mate. So uh, let's talk about this position here in the downswing. Mm -hmm. And a common fault that we see with players is when this back arm tends to tip under too much. And we mm -hmm. see the elbows there, if we're going to draw a line across it, they form too much of an yeah. angle. Right? Now, almost always when that happens, you'll start to see a loss of body angle this way mm -hmm. and uh, the, the body straightens out. So it's sort of a fake, you know, to my way of looking at, you get occasionally someone that's hyper flexible like a Sergio, I'm not saying he does that, but you see that general look. But almost always to me, it's someone that's trying to force the club onto plane. I think do it the wrong way. So this is what I would say, when I see people at the range kind of doing this sort of stuff, I'm pretty sure nothing good's going to happen when they actually get over the ball. It just doesn't work that way. You want to think of it this way. When you're at the top of the backswing, your torso, obviously your arms are connected there. When that moves, that pulls the club out. Obviously you need a tiny bit of that. It's the release of the arms, especially the one that folds, that brings the club down. Now we're not talking about a throw or a big wide release, but if I had, say, that golf ball was a big, I had to knock that in the ground if it was a big nail, I'm not gonna hit that nail like that. I'm just gonna whack it like that. Yeah. So I think when people get more of a sense of, hey, can I get my trail arm longer? Then you get more of that classic look where the arms are a little more level, the shoulders are more level coming into the ball and you don't get all this because even if you do get it on plane, if you create that much tilt, you're not gonna really compress the ball and have good results. So longer trail arm is the key. And as you do that, you can do that and have plenty of almost increase the bend in your right wrist. That's what you're really looking for. Yeah, absolutely. And we, we see this as usually an effect of nearly every player or every high level player would start with their hands in front of their chest, right? Right. Then at the top of the swing, there'll be a bit of travel of this lead arm across the chest. Sure. Now what happens is if those arms never get back in front of the chest, the trail arm gets stuck behind and very quickly we get this look here. Now, Not players, recommended. Not recommended. Players would look at that and go, oh, I'm Casting, right? But essentially what's happened is yeah. the sequence of the downswing, they haven't unloaded or lengthened that trail arm back in front yeah, of the Yeah, so it's going to get it in front of you, exactly. This, this is not casting, is it? Like if I had, say, a stick in my hand and I had to smack a chair or something like that, I wouldn't mm -hmm. do it like that. It would have a lot of dynamics to it. It would actually increase wrist angle. That's kind of what you're looking for. Yeah. That isn't to say the body doesn't lead, but it's more of a bump with a little turn in it and give the arms a chance to get down and in front of you. It is less of this turn. I just think people so often in golf, you know, it's kind of a hard game, especially when you get started. How many beginners have you seen in the first hour had consistent ball striking reason? None that I've ever seen. So yeah, yeah, yeah. one of the things that happens is we see the ball over there. We're just trying to hit the thing and our instincts tell us to make the club go towards the ball. And that right. often breeds that chesty sort of a look at it. Mm -hmm. And doing this isn't the way to get out of it. It's getting that good motion in the right arm, getting it longer, getting it more down and in front of you. Then you can actually use your body properly through impact. Yeah, and I've explored this topic with quite a few coaches in the past six months. And this a variety of drills that we can use like we can swing to the top and if you are a player who really is never letting go of this sort of this angle and feeling that powerful release you can turn the golf club upside down and feel like you're speeding it up at yeah. that stage of the swing uh -huh. you can see the chest is further back the arms are unloaded certainly not steep over right. the top with no room and like you said there pretending there's a nail in the back and feeling like you're yeah, just whack it, it in the ground i come over here with people and just put my foot there and hope sincerely they don't take me literally <laughs> so, but i challenge you if you get in front of a mirror do a good backswing mm -hmm. and with, this is over exaggerating the the distinction between body and arms so leave your back to the target let your trail arm straighten and you look in the mirror and you tell me i guarantee that club's plenty from the inside so you don't have to force it and fight it and get all this way to hit from the inside just get that sequence better I like that, and you can couple that with that sense of that powerful way to get that right arm in front and of you. You see someone like Justin Rose does this all the time at the moment as a rehearsal. Absolutely, you see you guys like do that a lot. As yeah. they're doing this, they're backing back into the yeah. target like that fashion. Mm -hmm. Certainly don't want to get to the top and just do this. Certainly not. Coupled it with an athletic move. Absolutely. But uh, anything else you'd add before we kind of slot this into a shot here, mate? Well, one final thing. If you're a player that fades or cuts the ball quite a bit, 
you've got to be a little bit careful about getting more getting more from the inside is going to be probably appropriate for you but you have to be able to get that face square so right. check your grip a little bit is it in the fingers enough is it strong enough because i tell you if you can't get the face square in other words if you swing more from the inside and it just starts to go more to the right it's hard to sustain it so if you're curving it to the right maybe work on club face tilt grip etc till you've at least got square hit if not a little draw then you're in a position emotionally in a way to swing more from the inside mm. but if you're losing balls to the right and you start swinging more from the inside you will lose balls even farther <laughs> to the right. and break. after about 10 <laughs> shots you're not going to like it too much so that, that would maybe be a little uh, I love admonition. It, yeah, I would say that the checkpoint that we would be looking for here is by the time that we get to this stage, the elbows are relatively level rather yeah, than sure. in this position. Here. Club head would be, if the then camera it's... angle's good, just a little behind the shoulder, club shaft, I should say. Yeah, exactly. And then as we get to this stage, exactly yeah. what Baz was saying there, club face turns slightly down. Mm -hmm. If you're in this position yeah. because your grip is off, well, then we're in big trouble. You're in trouble, yeah. Inside. Now, if you're hitting it straight, don't worry about that piece of advice. But just like that's you, huh? Yeah, exactly. Short and straight. That's my <laughs> motto. Short and fairly straight. All that's right, what mate. I like. So I'm going to get the feeling that the back is staying back there. I'm lengthening yeah. that trail arm, exactly. almost imagining I'm getting that feeling of throwing something back and behind as my chest is staying back. Let's put it into a shot. We will take it. That was the best of the day there. You're going to have to take my word for that because you can't see the ball. That was ripped right there. Okay. Enjoyed it.